All right, so this is another ALT help video. Uh, some ALTs will be placed in the big cities, which I'm pretty sure that's what most people are hoping for. I mean, even I myself, I didn't know I was gonna be, you know, here. <laughs> this was a, a pretty big shock as to where I thought I might end up whenever I was getting placed out here. But uh, yeah, I like it out here though, so it's pretty nice. But uh, there's certain things um, that's pretty much throughout the entire country, and there's just basic manners that you will encounter here that you may not encounter uh, in other places. Um, definitely different than in America. So if you're from a westernized country, this will probably uh, throw you off a little bit, or it may take you a little bit to, to get into. So first thing, um, traditionally most of your meals come with, uh, and of course this is like just, just basic junk, you know, chopsticks, and chopsticks or ohashi. And so for ohashi, there are specific ways you're supposed to hold it. And I mean, most people figure it out pretty quick. They even have charts, uh, especially at the schools that I teach at for the elementary kids, teach them how to properly hold chopsticks. Um, so there is a right way. Uh, and one of the main things is whenever you're eating, you cannot just put your chopsticks in the bowl and leave them like standing up. Um, that's bad, uh, mainly because whenever they do that, that's mostly used for like funeral services, whenever they put the incense into the burner. Um, so they don't, you know, that's, that's not good for whenever you're eating. So basically you just place the top chopsticks on top of the bowl, like just lay them down or put them to the side. Don't just leave the chopsticks in the bowl. That's, that's bad manners. Um, one of the things that's a good manner, uh, if you're like me, you really, really like ramen or you like eating like the noodle base, like udon or, uh, things like that. Um, whenever you eat, it is very acceptable and it's actually encouraged for you to slurp. Slurp your noodles. Um, that's one of the things that I still haven't been able to break because of course in the US, slurping while you're eating is considered bad manners. Well, here, if you're eating noodles and you're like, geez, these are good. Like I'll slap my parents. These are so good. These, this is awesome. Uh, if you're slurping really loud, that's a compliment. That tells the chef who made them, it's like, oh my God, these are so good. I can't control myself when I'm eating them. So slurping your noodles is always good. It's always a nice thing. Um, another thing for eating manners, um, before you eat, uh, of course, most people who have done their research, this is probably one of the first things you, you found out. This is just another, you know, basic fact. Before you eat, put your hands together in almost like a praying type, and um, you say, itadakimasu which is basically, I think the literal translation is like, I receive, or thanks for the meal. And, uh, ooh, the wind's kicking up. It's starting to cool things down. But uh, yeah, when you say itadakimasu, it's basically the polite way of um, saying, thank you, I received the food, I appreciate it, thanks. It's like uh, saying grace a little bit, but without all the uh, rub-a-dub-dub, thanks for the grub, yay God, amen. Um, it's just a nice way of saying thank you, I received this, I appreciate it. Um, and then once you finish eating, uh, same thing, you put your hands together in like a praying motion, and then you say, Gochi so sama deshita, or some people just say, Gochi so sama des. And basically, that's another way of saying thanks for the meal, or uh, it was a feast. So it's basically just, you know, uh, good manners good manners whenever you're eating and uh, you will get complimented on your ability to say itadakimasu and gochiso sama deshita and they will compliment you very highly on your ability to use chopsticks so if you get that they'll be surprised and they really like it even now my elementary school kids and even my um, junior high kids still compliment me on my ability to use chopsticks even the teachers so I mean I've been using them for the past 10 months but whatever <laughs> Um, okay, just uh, just two more. So the next one is on buses. On buses, uh, it's bad manners to have a conversation. Um, it's especially bad to basically have your phone go off and you have this long-winded conversation on the on your phone on the bus. Um, please don't do that. They <laughs> they don't like that. Now you may see some of the younger kids do it. Uh, that's because they live here and that's kind of their deal. And you can kind of get away with it because you'll be a gaijin which is a foreigner, and they'll kind of let you get away with it because you don't know any better, and they will tolerate it. 
but the thing is it's it's kind of nice if you make an effort now sometimes you may have a phone call and it is a it is a must have type of thing so take it but try to be as brief and as quiet as you possibly can uh, but other than that you know you can you can check your phone Facebook and do all that other stuff but like talking and such is kind of frowned upon so they they kind of don't care for that type of thing on the bus the bus is supposed to be like a peaceful transition because they're on them so much um, same thing uh, also if you're on the bus uh, there is preferred seating so if you see an elderly woman or man or if you see somebody that's uh, injured and they're on crutches or if you see a pregnant woman uh, you're supposed to give up your seat now once again you may see some people that just look at those other people and say well I ain't getting up um, but it's considered good manners and they really appreciate it whenever you do stuff like that so it's just it's very nice and it looks good on you and it makes other gaijin look good so yeah that's always a good thing uh, so next thing uh, for trains basically the same rules apply uh, if you're on the train please don't talk on your phone there's gonna be uh, all sorts of messages that will come up in both Japanese English sometimes Chinese and other languages that say hey keep off your phone turkey uh, basically because it's just the manners around here now once again you will run into the younger crowd that will sit there and gab away and talk on their phone and do all sorts of stuff um, but then again that's Japanese youth that's just what they do so you know they live here you'll be living there now if you're if you're coming over or if you're just visiting you know visitors too please try to follow the rules um, on the train there is also preferred seating so if you once again see an elderly man woman or somebody who's mm, I guess we could say crippled or or has trouble getting around give them the preferred seating once again looks good on you they and they like that you're you know going out of your way things like that it looks good on you which makes everybody look good which is kind of the way that this society runs so that's about it in terms of oh one more thing uh, on trains depending on what time you're going so if you're gonna live in a big city like me I have to drive everywhere I mean look at this I have, there's no train that comes through where I'm at so if you're living in the city um, one of the things that you'll probably notice is that at certain times of the day they'll have cars that are specifically made for women um, mainly because they have uh, they've had a problem with like molesters and sexual assaults on trains um, to where like you know because they're packed in so tight the guys would just start feeling around the woman grabbing them doing all that stuff now is it like a rampant thing that happens all the time no but it does happen so they cut down on it they've decided during the high traffic time so it'd be you know between whatever time in the morning and then another time at the end of the day they separate the men and women or they'll have like a women only car and men are not allowed in it between X amount of hours now the rest of the day yeah but for that amount of time no so be careful of that um, one of my friends is in Tokyo and he says in the morning he is basically a sardine in a can so some of y'all may get it some of you may not depends on where you go depends on if you're like me and you got to drive everywhere I mean because I'm basically uh, a good 20 minutes away from good civilization so that's it for this one there's just some like manners and a little bit of help on that uh, I'll be doing a few more like this so I'll see you guys later